Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, March 31st. Meditate on God's Works. Rock of ages cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riven side which flowed be of sin the double cure cleanse me from its guilt and power meditate on god's works i remember the days of old i meditate on all thy works i muse on the work of thy hands psalm 143 verse 5 We have looked upon the lofty, terraced mountains in their majestic beauty with their rocky battlements resembling grand old castles. These mountains speak to us of the desolating wrath of God in vindication of his broken law, for they were heaved up by the stormy convulsions of the flood. They are like mighty waves that at the voice of God stood still, stiffened billows arrested in their proudest swell. These towering mountains belong to God. He presides over their rocky fastnesses. The wealth of their minds is his also, and so are the deep places of the earth. If you would see the evidence that there is a God, look around you wherever your lot may be cast. He is speaking to your senses and impressing your soul through his created works. Let your heart receive these impressions and nature will be to you an open book and will teach you divine truth through familiar things. The lofty trees will not be regarded with indifference. Every opening flower, every leaf with its delicate veins will testify of the infinite skill of the great master artist. The massive rocks and towering mountains that rise in the distance are not the result of chance. They speak in silent eloquence of one who sits upon the throne of the universe, high and lifted up. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. All his plans are perfect. What awe and reverence! should his name inspire? How should a knowledge of his works quicken our perception of his attributes? God is himself the rock of ages, a refuge for his people, a covert from the storm, a shadow from the burning heat. He has given us his promises, which are more firm and immovable than the rocky heights, the everlasting hills. The mountains shall depart, and the hills shall be removed, but his kindness shall not depart, nor his covenant of peace be removed. From those who by faith make him their trust, if we would look to God for help as steadfastly as these rocky, barren mountains point to the heavens above them, we should never be moved from our faith in him and our allegiance to his holy law. This passage was taken from the Review and Herald, February 24th, 1885. Our Daily Bread, March 31st. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.